Hi guys, this is Jennifer. How are you all doing? If anybody's there, we're going to have some fun today, I hope. Um, so I'm just going to wait until, you know, maybe somebody shows up. Let's see what happens, okay? All right, so today's topic is tea tree oil. Now, I'm sure I'll come back to this when we have other people joining us, but tea tree oil, what are your thoughts on tea tree oil? All right, now I bring this up because, hey, Bobby Sindhu, how are you? Welcome to this stream. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, go ahead and let me know and we'll chat back and forth. Um, I'm just talking about tea trail right now. So if you're, I'm glad you're doing well. I'm doing good too. But the reason I bring up tea trail is because the school has a case of head lice in it. And in my little girl's, hi, erratic sets. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> How are you guys doing? We've got a few people here. Yay! I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. So today I'm going to talk about tea tree oil. If you have any thoughts about tea tree oil, just, you know, say something down below and I will. This is tea tree essential oil. It is Melaleuca is another name for it. And um, it's used for a variety of things that people want to heal. So let's talk about tea tree oil and what it can and cannot do. I will go into uh, further depth about tea tree oil in a way to soapy minute episode. But for today, we're going to talk about tea tree oil because that's what's on my mind right now <laughs> because of the recent outbreak in head lice in my daughter's school. <laughs> Has anybody ever used tea tree oil to treat head lice? Anybody at all? Do you know how to use it? Okay, so we'll talk a little bit about tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is one of those like lavender that people just like put on everything. And um, one thing I wanna warn you about essential oils is that you need to be very, very careful. These are very, very powerful and can have some very serious side effects. So just like any other medication or um, perfume or body product, yes. It's the days of head lice. We are dealing with that today. <laughs> no, my little girl does not have head lice. But we want to make sure she stays that way. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a little bit of tips and tricks on how to use tea tree oil specifically for head lice treatment. Because them little buggers aren't fun at all. <laughs> I'm so glad your kids are older too that you don't have to deal with it. Um, we actually, I went into the school and um, the teacher told me the day before that there was somebody who possibly had head lice, pretty much confirmed it. Um, and so to be very, very careful. And, you know, my little girl, it's, it's really, 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 really um, cold right now and dry for our region. And so she's got a little bit of dandruff. I'm like, oh, no, is it my child? Is my the one that's affecting the masses? No. Not today. <laughs> oh, hey, Bobby. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I went into the classroom and <laughs> last Friday, they actually, the teacher went so far as to tell everyone to put their coats in a black garbage bag and everything put away. So, I mean, we're at that point, right? <laughs> this class, this teacher is like not cool with it. So one thing that we do at home for preventative uh, measures is we'll use tea tree oil. Now, I already know that we don't have any sensitivities to tea tree oil, but if you're going to try this at home, I want you to make sure that you don't either. And I never, 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 never want you to ever use it full strength. I say that about all essential oils because that's just good practice, okay? Um, there are some very serious side effects that can happen if you eat tea tree oil, if you put it directly on the skin, if you, you use it in ways that is not intended. Misuse of this product can be very serious. Um, and I just want you to Google it and we'll talk about it in a way to soak in it a little bit later on. 
So everyone at my daughter's school is putting everything into the black paper bags. And so I thought, you know, so we don't have to worry about actual buggies because um, just thinking about it makes it itch. It does. I swear it does. No, I'm not itching. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's probably one of my favorite things to do. And I do like the smell. Hey, Michelle. Welcome, welcome. My worst nightmare. My son always had very long at one point to his waist. Wow. Thick hair. I always feared him getting lice. So far, we haven't had it. Knock, knock. Knock, knock for you. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have had it. And it wasn't pretty. Oh my gosh, it wasn't pretty. Oh my gosh. I remember I was brushing my hair and I'm like, what? 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 So I'm going to show you where to look for head lice. We'll do a little head lice kind of. My son looks so happy. <laughs> That's great, Bobby. That's awesome. Um, where to look for it if you're struggling with it? Because, you know, in the Pacific, uh, Western Canada and just Pacific Northern and the Pacific Northern and West. Oh, I always say Southern. I always say Pacific Northwest, but I'm actually in the Pacific Southwest in Canada. <laughs> so, but this area where Seattle and Vancouver Island and all along the coast is very moist, and it's the perfect ingredient for a perfect uh, environment for little buggies like head lice. And so they are very common. Know your kid isn't a dirty gertie. No. Head lice, you know, aren't just, you know, um, it, it's something that, you know, the, the right environment. In fact, cleaner hair actually is more likely to be a nice place for them to dive in and be happy, which is why I'm going to tell you about my own personal experience. <laughs> ah! Okay. <laughs> so I was, I was doing my hair and I was like, you know, we've been fighting this, you know, I've, I've heard that it can be bad here. And I was... Like where you want to look is you want to look right along the hairline. All right. So right along here. I don't have head lice, by the way. See, see, I'm head lice free. And you're going to be looking for little teeny tiny things that stick. So little white sticks. And those are the eggs. That's your first clue that you've got a really bad problem. Um, and you're going to have to get whatever treatments that it takes. And we'll talk about a different, a couple of different treatments, one of which includes teaching. Trail. Now, the first thing you can do is you can go to your local um, your local drugstore and get the NYX and NYX, 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 NYX yourself. But is that going to take care of the problem? No, not likely. It's it's not likely because the, the head lice in, in each region are becoming more and more resistant to the medications that we use. Okay. So what do you need to do? You need to make sure you kill the head lice so they're not laying those little eggs right? They're not doing that. So the way you do that is you, you basically you drown them. And what you can do <clears throat> is you get a special comb and the pharmacist will get you the right one. So you don't, you know, we used to always have them. We have never had a problem in years. Like I, once I got, you know, really good at this and I'm going to show you remedies so you can avoid ever having to get to the point where we did. And we got too lazy about maybe our treatments and preventative measures because, you know, we would never get at lice. Ever, right. <laughs> so, um, so, so, um, you know, where was I? I lost my train of thought. The music changed. <laughs> yeah, no, Nyx doesn't work. Not for most people. It doesn't work. You have to get the comb. You have to get those eggs off of your body because you know, they hatch and then they, they lay more. They're, they're worse than rabbits guys. And let me tell you, rabbits breeding like rabbits is a real thing. <laughs> Suddenly you can start with two and you'll have 20 in no time at all. We're, th we're talking, they breed every 30 days. Well, the lice do that even faster and they're so small. Pretty soon you're just going to be infested and you're going to have to shave your head, which would be a shame. And I have really, really, really long hair. My hair is actually way down to my waist. My son did get paralysis ticks in Australia in his hair. Ow, 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 ouch. Yeah, so you do have to get rid of the bugs. You have to get rid of their eggs. You have to get rid of their adults. The Knicks will kill the adults, some up, but there's always eggs, right? All right, so what do you do? What do you do? Well, I'm going to show you a little remedy using tea tree oil that works for our family. And what you're going to do is you're going to take eight ounces of olive oil and about a 
quarter of an ounce of tea tree oil, just a little bit, just like a quarter of this bottle, not even a quarter of an ounce. This is this is a 15 ml bottle, so you use about a quarter of this. It doesn't take a lot. And it's actually the olive oil that is going to um, kill the nits and removing them is going to get rid of it. But if you find yourself in an infestation, these will actually prevent, the tea tree oil addition will actually repel um, new adults from reinfecting your child, right? That's where the tea tree oil comes in. Now, once you've gone through the whole treatment and you can Google it, you, you know, you put oil all through the hair and you put like a hat on overnight and then you comb it out. Now that combing, that's what's really going to be getting rid of the head lice, but you don't want to get reinfected. So you can take that, that olive oil and put it, spray it on pillows, spray it around the house. You can actually add it to alcohol um, and spray your kids' clothes with it the same way, you know, like that much essential oil and eight ounces of alcohol and just spray it like Febreze. That does work to shake it, right? Unless you use an emulsifier like lecithin or polysorbate or whatever you've got, right? Spray it on everything. Um, for daily use though, once you've gotten rid of it, and this is where we are because we don't actually have head lice. I will take about 30 drops and put it in my shampoos, whatever shampoo I'm using. <laughs> hey, Gigi, welcome. We're talking about head lice and tea tree oil. <laughs> Isn't that fun? <laughs> so um, put it in your conditioner. Please do not use this directly on the skin. There are some really serious, serious side effects that can happen if you use tea tree oil directly on the skin. Um, yeah. Yay! <laughs> no, I don't have it. I really, I don't. See? See, no. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so this is why I wanted to talk about tea tree because that's what's going on in our lives right now. So tea tree oil can be a very effective deterrent for any kind of bugs. It's in, I believe, one of those uh, menthol, menth anything with a menthol scent will actually repel pests. So um, things from the mint family, things from the eucalyptus family, things from the melaleuca family, all of them work because they have those camphor components. All right. So if anybody has any questions, we'll leave it at there. <laughs> um, but yeah, just put a few drops. Do not use it directly on your children's head. Do not use it um, on your pets directly. You, It is highly poisonous. Um, and that has been shown in studies. So, you know, do not take it orally, um, direct, you know, full strength. If that's something that has been prescribed to you by an aromatherapist for some reason or other, I, I have heard of it being used that way. Not something I would recommend to, to anyone really because of the, um, the very serious side effects that can occur within. Hey, Trey, welcome. Welcome to the Gen Spice channel and my live today. We talked about tea trail because my little girl is in a classroom where somebody has head lice and how to use it to prevent head lice. <laughs> Thank you, Gigi. You're the best too. If you haven't checked out each other's channels, go and check each other out. It's uh, a super, this is chatting is a really super fun way to get to know one another in this, in this community. And I love you guys. I totally do. And I have set a new goal. I have to make an announcement. I met my goal of 100 uploads in three months. I did it. I did it. <laughs> uh, lice, is, lice is a huge problem with kids this time of year. Yes, definitely, definitely. Everybody's got hats. And my little girl loves hats. I swear she has like 30 different hats. And if she says somebody's hat sitting on the ground, my biggest fear is that she's going to grab it, put it on, and bring home the bugs. <laughs> Sharing hats, coats, they can even move from clothes. Yes, they can. They can jump from one kid to another. You're a pharmacist. Oh, that's awesome. They are a big, so, you know, Michelle, just let us know. Nix isn't always going to work. It's that comb. Use that comb. Get it out. Get them out. Um, I know. Thank you, Gigi. <laughs> hey, MK Lone Star. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. We are talking about tea tree oil from time to time. Um, for those of you who are um, new um, and joining me, thank, welcome, welcome. Welcome, mad scientist. So, <laughs> oh no, you're an infection. That's 
Careful. Tea tree is your friend. Okay. How do you use tea tree oil for a urine infection? <laughs> Thanks, Gigi. I'm here with my friends. How could I not be happy? <laughs> now, the one thing that if you are using it for something um, topically, make sure you um, you dilute it down properly for your skin, for your body. You know, you want it a therapeutic um, effectiveness, right? But know that it is there's not a lot of research out there this is just you know us sharing information about things that work for us i mean if you go to your pharmacist and you know correct me if i'm wrong michelle but if you go to your pharmacist and say i want some tea trail to to cure head lice is she gonna he or she gonna say yeah that'll work <laughs> probably not because <laughs> here's the next try this first <laughs> right um, cause there isn't a lot of scientific data on the use of essential oils and their effectiveness. All right. So unless you have scientific data to back it up, not just, you know, um, home remedies and historical use, we need to start documenting these things. And I use it for a number of things. It's one of the number one components in my topical, um, spot, um, healer. Um, look, <laughs> Yeah, tea tree oil is really nice. It is known to um, it is known to repel um, insects and things, though. Not all of them, but you know, a lot of the pests that we don't like. Uh, mint will do that too. All right. So, how is my fabulous daughter? My fabulous daughter, Melissa or Alyssa or Jessica? I have three. <laughs> Melissa is really, really great. She's um, right now on her computer and she is listening to music very softly. <laughs> I told her I don't, she needs to turn the music down so that I don't get in trouble with YouTube. She's really, really amazing on her iPad. In fact, last week, Melissa, who uh, is my daughter and she's, she has cerebral palsy. So if you haven't caught her, her, um, her, her demo on the spa scriptions mask, you really got to see it. Cause she's awesome. And, um, <laughs> yeah, Melissa is pretty amazing. So she actually had a three-way um, talk going, um, phone call going on with with some of her friends and family. So that was pretty awesome. I she did it all on her own too. I mean, cerebral palsy does not affect intellect necessarily. And my little girl is amazing. She's, she can hear me talking about her. Um, she has motor control issues, so she can't talk because she can't control her vocal cords. She can't you know, coordinate her body or walk because she can't control those muscles. And that's what cerebral palsy often is the case. There's nothing, you know, uh, intellectually lacking in someone with cerebral palsy. So, you know, be careful what you say, because that's, you know, <laughs> you, you can upset each, anybody by saying something off. off of, I actually had people say things to me, um, that I just walked away from. All right, so we're back to lice control and our resident pharmacist, Michelle, or loss control says, I tell people to save their money, buy the nick comb and smother them with mayonnaise. Hey, that'll work, the oil, right? Uh, then comb them out the next day. And mayonnaise, we haven't talked a lot on my channel about, you know, some really great natural DIY conditioners. And mayonnaise is something that I used when I was a teenager. <laughs> works guys if you need a deep deep conditioner there's something about that combination of oils i believe there's something in the lecithin uh that the mayonnaise um brings that the, the eggs bring to the mayonnaise that actually does condition um, i'll have to check up my science on that but um the more that i you know have thought about it over the years that's kind of i think where you're going to find um that great treatment comes from Mayonnaise, okay, yeah, just, just take some mayonnaise out and instead of making a sandwich with it, Gigi, put it in your hair. <laughs> Both, actually. If you want a deep conditioning treatment, if you have very, very dry hair, uh, mayonnaise is a DIY. It, it is actually, a, and if you make it fresh, you're going to have even more of those um, phyto, phytonutrients um, doing their thing in your hair. <laughs> You'll stick to your wax. So you don't have very, very dry hair, I'm guessing. <laughs> People with very, very dry hair will try anything to moisturize. And it is a really effective moisturizer. Add a little tea tree if you're worried about, you know, 
you know, things going on at the public schools. <sighs> and definitely shampoo it out. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, I used it too on my hair in high school. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah. <laughs> we all know the natural DIYs. They're super fun. Um, all right. <laughs> so if you can't afford to get your bed head deep tunic, deep, deep, deep condition. I think my favorite right now though is um, one put out by Regis called Cashmere. That's my favorite conditioner right now. Um, I'm researching that in my own conditioners for my company uh, to figure out what it is about Regis Cashmere that I love so much so that I can incorporate, you know, some of those elements in my own products. Mm. <laughs> so wait for that. <laughs> Yeah, I like bedhead. <laughs> it's nice. Um, yeah, so what do you guys think of the music? Is it too loud or is it okay? Is it distracting or is it good? You guys hear the music? I pay for a service so I can stream with music if I want to. The music is fine. Is it too loud or is it just right? It's kind of, um, I find that like when I do live, if there's any like dead silence, I get like, nervous and I want to fill in all of the, <laughs> the lack of sound and this is kind of something I wanted to try. It's fine. Okay. It's just right. Good to know. Good to know. All right. So do you guys have any questions about tea trail or head lice treatments since that's the topic and then we can move on to something else? Uh, no questions? That's fine. Um, so just to recap for those that are, you know, just joining us, um, teacher oil, please don't use it straight out of the bottle, dilute it appropriately, do a allergy test. Um, if you watch my daughter's spa description, um, demo or review, um, we did a allergy test. This area of the skin is a really good place to do an allergy test, um, Good. I covered all the bases. I was very thorough, wasn't I? <laughs> all right. So we talked about tea trail. Now I'm going to start going live regularly. And that's, I just picked a short topic like this. I don't have a lot of stuff planned for today. I basically just wanted to talk to you guys, talk about something that was on my mind going on in my life to let you, you know, learn a little bit more about me and um, to build the community that we've started that is just growing in ways I never thought it would. I mean, we have 2000 people in our group here on Gen Spice and I have made so many awesome friends. I can't even tell you how happy I am here at um, here on YouTube and being a YouTuber. Um, yeah, yeah. So my goal now that I have reached the 100 in three months is to have an upload as often as possible and to go live at least once a week. I had a lot of fun doing that in December and all of January. I hummed and hawed about whether or not I should do a live stream or not. I wish I had, and that's my new goal. So Soaping Saturday um, is something that I'll live. Soaping Saturday Live is something I want to try to do every Saturday. So if you're around, please come join. We'll, we'll, I'll pick a topic. We'll do something new. Um, and then I'll also do something on Sunday that's a little less soap related, but we'll always talk about something soap related because that's my life. <laughs> I'm soaping all the time. Um, so that's great. So Gigi is going to be doing lives on Sunday as well. Um, so I'll probably do an evening uh, Sunday live so that I can reach some of you who are not available during the day. So sat soaping Saturday, <laughs> soaping Sunday. Um, so that's on Sunday, we'll do things like game night when I pull out my Universal Yums. I got a new one, guys. Um, it's from January. I haven't opened it yet because I really enjoy playing the games and stuff with you guys. So we'll be doing that probably tomorrow. So if you come back tomorrow afternoon, um, we'll have some more fun and we will taste. We'll do a mukbang snack fest. How does that sound? <laughs> Thank you so much, Gigi. Um, being a mom is my number one job. And um YouTube is helping that actually become more of a reality. And I want to thank all of you for your support of my business, your support here on YouTube. Um, I'll have an announcement tomorrow uh, surrounding, 
you know, what that support has actually brought to uh, my channel. And when it comes in the mail, <laughs> I will definitely show it to you. Um, but I have to thank you guys for that. Um, I'm a saver. So, you know, even if we only generate $100 a year, I'm going to use all of that to make the content better and more exciting so that um, we can all grow closer together. Now, I'm also going to be talking about soaping secrets. So for those of you that are beginners or maybe you're just getting started with your business or um, maybe a seasoned soap maker Sunday discussion or Saturday, I'll, there'll be different topics. If there's something that you want to learn, I have been soaping for 20 years. Now with that 20 years comes a lot of experience in markets, a lot of experience with merchandising, a lot of experience with formulation, a lot of experience in um, different suppliers. So if there's things you want to learn, things you want to know, put it in the comment section of any one of my uploads. I read every single comment you guys make. Um, Woohoo! Your son, Bobby, congratulations! Oh, that's awesome. So Bobby Sindhu's son just passed his driving test, and I have to share with you, Bobby, my son Matthew, who's eight, 17, just passed his and got his new driver um, sticker for his car. He has been driving everywhere everywhere. Holy cow, Matthew. He's got a 1990 Camaro. I think it's a Camaro. It's black. black. <laughs> I think it's a Camaro. Not the expensive one. The one that's not as expensive. It's like a Mustang, but it's a Dodge. Is that a Dodge? <laughs> I'm really bad with car stuff. And that's why I subscribe to some of you car people because I, I want to learn more. Um, so anyway, let me tell you that story because that's pretty awesome. Um, so he, he he took the test like four times. <laughs> but this last time he got 100% on his driving. He, you know, he passed the written test like no problem, right? And so he's a whole year. He's been a learner. Here in Canada, we have learner. Then we have new driver. And then they can take the stickers off. Um, but now that he's a new driver... He's been driving everywhere. And his car, this Camaro, has a dual exhaust. So it's only a V6 engine. It's kind of funny. But it's loud. Oh, my gosh. It's loud. I love driving it. Oh, my gosh. I love driving it. It is so fun. Um, anyway, but it's weird. Because instead of having that, that rumble in the front, because the V8 engine actually sounds nice and loud. And even my V6 sounds, in my Mustang, sounds louder than this Camaro for some reason. Probably because it's older. I don't know. But this... The, it's probably because of the dual exhaust. It's like, vroom, 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 right? So every time he goes, we can tell Matthew's going out again. <laughs> so he's been driving everywhere. It was so funny because he's really fit because he's always walked everywhere and now he's driving everywhere. We're a little, we're hoping that he'll, he'll drive less, you know, once he, you know, <laughs> realizes that driving is just a thing. <laughs> means tube transportation but uh yeah he's been driving everywhere and it's it's a stick so for almost he bought his car five months ago right and he's been afraid to drive it because we live on a hill right on cook street and when you back up in an automatic in a, in a in a stick you roll right <laughs> so that's been fun so He's finally starting to drive everywhere, which is awesome. I'm glad he got over that because driving, driving a standard is actually more fun than driving an automatic, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, so that that's awesome. I'm glad you, you shared that with you because then I could share my story too. How is he doing? Oh, welcome, Christmas Eve, Holly. Oh, that's awesome. Welcome to the Gin Spice channel. Um, come on into my Sophie Kitchen anytime. We're going to be doing lives regularly. So if you have any questions about beauty products, if you have any questions about soap making, if you have any soap, any any questions about anything related on my channel, or even if you want to just learn, you know, get to know me better, I'm here. <laughs> Hey, Renee. Oh, I'm so glad I stayed on a little longer. One of my best friends just showed up. Renee from Sauce from Love. Oh, that's awesome. 
So glad I learned, he learned a manual. Now there's no vehicle, he won't be able to drive an emergency. That's true. He just loves it. He just loves driving. Um, for those of you who are just joining us, we had a big discussion on tea tree oil because of, you know, something's going on in my little kid's school. We won't talk about anything more about that because I think we covered the basis, but you can watch it later if you want to learn about tea tree remedies. I will be doing a big way to soapy minute um, presentation on tea tree oil so you can get all of the deets, know all of the warnings, know how to use it what it's being used for, some of the stuff that has scientific um, backing on it, and some of the things that are more of along the line of um, historical use. All right. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. My daughter's going to be doing more with the vlogs. In fact, she's going to be joining me on Saturdays when she wants to as well. So she'll be right here with me. Um, as often as she wants to, but I'm going to kind of leave it to her. Um, she really does like, she's just listening in the background right now because she wanted to do something else, but yeah, she, Melissa will definitely be coming back and um, yeah, something is, it's one of the goals she's set is to get herself out there a little bit. And um, I've welcomed her into my channel and she might even open her own channel. I don't know. It's, it's a goal she's set. So I'd, I'll be really excited to see what she decides to do. Okay, Melissa, everybody's looking forward to seeing more of you. What do you think? Yeah, she's giggling. <laughs> hey, Miss Gladius Simias, welcome, welcome. Hey, Six Hand Spice, welcome to my live. We're talking about tea tree oil and schools and warnings and how you can use tea tree oil to, to help get rid of head lice <laughs> or at least repel it. That I think has been, yeah. Um, yeah, so if you are interested in finding out that information, it's the first thing we talked about on this live stream. And when it when we finish here, that'll be right there for you. So if you have any specific questions, just say so in the stream and I will recap. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's one of those things that's life, right? <laughs> you have to just deal with. <laughs> Picture in my kid's hair where there's a last warning. Yes, yes. It does help repel. It does. Like any, has anything with camphor in it will definitely, I think it's camphor. I'm just thinking off the hook here. Hoof here. Um, yeah, yeah. I believe that that's the component that repels them. I love essential oils too. Thank you so much. So um, don't use it directly on your skin. Um, any essential oil, not lavender, not tea tree oil, none of them, please. Um, first dilute them in some kind of carrier oil um, or put it in the kid's conditioner or shampoo. Just a few drops, that's all it takes, into a big bottle and it's enough to, to repel things. Um, I do also make a, um, a fun spot remedy. I should publish that. I probably will if you guys are interested. Yeah, never use them directly on your face. I once told somebody, okay, so if you're having problems with, you know, a spot, that toothpaste will work. And so I said, just, just put it right on the spot and then go to bed because the, the, the mint will actually help dry out and, and pull out some of that. Now, toothpaste also has sodium bicarb, so there are salts which also do dry out. Um, there's glycerin, which keeps the, um, the skin from getting from breaking down. But instead of just using it on the spot, she put it on her whole face. And then she said to me later, she's like, that really hurt. And I'm like, honey, honey, you did it wrong. Never, ever, ever cover your whole face with anything. Be really, really careful. Always do a uh, spot test and make sure that you do it, you know, research before you, you know, you do something all over your face. It was really, really sad. I hope that she just used it as a scrub because, you know, that might have been okay. Um, but as a mask, please never, ever cover your face in toothpaste. Even if you have lots of acne, never, 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 never do that. The toothpaste, um, like tea tree, will actually um, help to draw out and heal, but not all over your face. All right, so we've had two home remedies, DIYs that we've talked about today. Well, three actually. Head lice, 
and zit cream and hair conditioner. So has anybody here who's just joined us ever used mayonnaise in their hair? <laughs> Essential oil. So anything that's got um, like mint notes to it, that's very, very strong. Camphor is, I believe, the... Um, the component which helps to repel. So if you can't handle the smell of tea tree oil, I know a lot of people can't handle it. Even peppermint will repel. It will not cure head lice. You have to get the little comb. And you have to, you know, get all those eggs out and you have to um, drown whatever is still alive in there with oil. And mayonnaise is one, which is also conditioning for the hair. And just straight up olive oil and tea tree oil helps. Know what, Renee? <laughs> you may, yes, your own mayonnaise is even better than anything in the store because it's fresh. And there are a lot of fresh components in there that are good for the skin. And that lecithin is actually a bit of an emulsifier. So it's, yeah, 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 try it. Tell me what you think. Um, you know, wash it out. Use it as a conditioner and then wash it out. Um but Michelle was saying that she would tell people she's a pharmacist and she's lost control. She's here. I think she's here right now. Um, she said earlier on the stream that if you, she would recommend that people use the NYX comb, well, the comb, there's a lot of different brands, the lice comb. It's got really, really close together um, teen times, is that what it's called? Anyway, the comb is really, really close together. And as you brush it through, it knocks off the eggs, which... Oh, you have lice warning right now? Okay, so with the tea tree oil, um, just put it in your conditioner. You can um, take about a quarter of an ounce and mix it with alcohol and spray your kids' coats, you know, spray their pillows, use it like Febreze. So you make a little, you know, <laughs> repellent area for your children so that if they do come home with something on their clothes that it goes away. All right, grandkids have, yeah, so it's really, really good to know. So make a spray for your house, um, spray the kids' coats down. My teacher, my my daughter's teacher was actually having the kids put their coat in bags at school. That's the first time I've ever seen that before, which is actually quite smart. Um, yeah, just yeah, get the flea comb. You can use olive oil. You don't have to use the tree tree oil. This is something that actually repels you know, future infestations. It's not going to kill anything. Although if you take it internally, it can make you very sick. So please, please, please be careful using tea tree oil. That's one thing I want to get through with this particular live stream with, with discussing essential oils, tea tree in particular. There are some very serious side effects that can occur with taking tea tree internally, um, you know, without um, a doctor's supervision. Coconut oil, any oil, any oil at all, Renee will work. Olive oil, coconut oil. What it does is if there are live bugs on the head, it actually suffocates them. All right. So if you're doing a treatment, use the tea tree oil and mix like a, maybe 30 drops into a half of a cup of coconut oil. Now I like the smell of virgin coconut oil and I also like what it does to my hair. Uh, you can use olive oil, you can use mayonnaise, you can use corn oil. It doesn't really matter. So just pick an oil that you like. A light oil is going to be better. Um, if you need a deep condition anyway, you know, go ahead and use, um, excuse me, either coconut or olive. Um, what's it, a lighter oil. Almond is quite light because you're also going to have to wash the hair several times to get all the oil out. Just, you know, an FIY. <laughs> So once you do this treatment, all right, so you, you put the oil and the tea tree oil in there and you cover your kid's head with a plastic cap and then put like a toque on their head so it gets nice and warm and they suffocate anything that's living in there. Yeah, yeah. So that's why that's why you need to dilute it, Renee. Don't Please don't use this on your pets. Renee um, brought up a very, very valid point. It's talk, It can be very toxic to animals. And with it being toxic to animals, it can also be toxic to your children. So don't overdo it. Do not put it directly on their little heads. Do not put it directly on their clothes. Do not put it directly on the, anything. Dilute, 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 dilute. It's like 30, 30 drops in an eight ounce bottle of olive oil and use that on your kids for a, you know, like protection against their skin, picking it up. Oh, so I threw it all over the place. Yeah, and don't leave it out. Um, 
There are shampoos on the markets that are appropriate for pets, but if you want to use tea tree on your pet, because they've got like, I just wouldn't, but if you can smell it, you could probably put too much in there. All right. For a pet. Right. Okay. And tea tree is very distinctive. The smell. Kind of like the smell. <laughs> But again, do not put it directly on anything. It's very powerful stuff. Okay. All right. So we've done the warnings again. <laughs> Where was I? Where was I? That's my train of thought. Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's check. Oh, coconuts. Okay. So you put it on your head and you leave it overnight. Know this. Know this. It is going to take, you know, at least three um, shampoos to get it out, maybe more, depending on the heaviness of your oil. For example, if you use castor oil, which is super, super thick on your kid's head, it's going to take a really long time to get it all out. But, you know, the, the nice thing about that, the thing is, the reason you use the oil is so that when you're pulling that lice comb through, it's easier and your kid's hair don't tangle as much. If you have a child with really, really long hair, you're going to probably have to cut it. All right. I wouldn't say shave your kid's head. I mean, a lot of parents will go to that extreme, especially if you've got little girls, you know, socially that's awkward and I wouldn't recommend it, but you know, you might have to, to cut it to here. All right. Okay, guys. So we've talked about tea tree oil. We've talked about different conditioners. <laughs> if you're doing the treatment Anyway, <laughs> you may as well, you know, try. Um, yeah. Oh, there's my little girl. There's one of them in the background. <laughs> Are there any questions before we wrap up? Anybody want to talk about anything? Just put a comment and I will address it and talk about it. Um, but yes, I will be coming on live regularly on Saturdays. That's my goal. And Sundays as well. So Saturday and Sunday. Um, I'm hoping to do live streams That's when I have time Saturday in the daytime and on Sunday in the afternoon. So if you're, you're not able to come during the day. Yeah. Yeah. And for those of you who didn't hear, I got my hundred videos in three months. Dad! Nailed it. Yay. 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 <laughs> I'm really excited about that. That was really hard. Um, live streams aren't as hard. The hard thing about live streams is just, you know, having the, you know, setting everything up and hoping that you get on because a lot of times YouTube is very, very busy and, um, you know, organizing my kids so that I have some time for you guys. But I will have them join me from time to time if you're interested, especially Melissa. Melissa has um, expressed some interest in getting on live with me as well as doing a subscribe, you know, a review. Now, I, I did talk to her about maybe doing reviews more often and she's totally up for that. So if you guys enjoyed her spa subscription review, we'll be doing some other reviews. They might be a little quicker because makeup's hard for her, <laughs> but she totally loves it. Um, yeah, she's got a palette, a Revlon palette right now that, that we might do next. So if, um, if you guys are interested in makeup, that is right along the same, um, realm of what the Jen Spice channel covers. And so we will be doing that. Thank you, Renee. Thank you, Six and Spice. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was awesome. It was hard, but it was awesome. Uh, I'm learning new things. Um, so if there's something you want to talk about in the live, any comment anywhere, I read every single comment I get on my channel. If you want me to talk about something on my live, please let me know in the comment section. Um, I love reading those guys. <laughs> it's like fan mail and friend mail and it's just awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's probably one of the best things about YouTube is getting that feedback. So thank you to everyone who does that. Um, if you want to leave a comment in this live stream after we're done, please do give me some ideas. Um, I'm really interested in what you want to see. And in closing, Oh, thank you. In closing, I just wanted to show you something cool we got for Chinese New Year. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, this is the Fuji apple. And it says something in Mandarin about 
you know, may you have a wonderful life and have success and have joy and have riches, however that may um, show itself in your life. And I want to wish each of you that these are the most amazing, delicious apples, by the way. I don't know how they did that, but it's pretty cool. So I want to wish that to each and every one of you today. And thank you for coming and spending time on my channel. And those of you that are coming later, please, I, I really, really appreciate you and wish you all the best. And we will see you tomorrow. If you want to join me again, I will be doing the snack box. So the universal yums and we'll be playing games. I hope tomorrow afternoon mid to mid to later in the evening we'll see what time i've got so um we'll see you next time bye guys thank you for coming